Yo, what's up, guys? Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com, hanging out with Sandy. What's up, Sandy girl? What's going on? <laughs> what's going on, everybody? I know it's kind of uh, late. Well, it's not late for me, actually. Got my Tupac mug tonight. Uh, let's see what we're doing here. What we're doing here is grabbing... A little bit of masking tape here. See, this is very tough to do. What's going on? Mad Max, Steve Lobo, what's up? Live from Boston. Boston homies in the house. Okay, oh God. Hard to work one handed. Donique, VIP member from Michigan. What's up? Brooklyn in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit. Here we go. We can see what I'm doing right here. If you see what I'm doing here, I'm just putting this piece of masking tape on my screwdriver because I'm going to jam it up somebody's... <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. God, I'm kidding. What am I doing? Like, what do I got going here? What is all of the... What is... What's happening here? What are all these parts? What's going on here? Well... I'll tell you what's going on very soon. So why did I do this? I'm going to give you guys a quick little tip so you don't screw up your paint if you're taking off uh, some plastic trim pieces. So <clears throat> here's a trick that I wanted to show you. It's going to be very hard for me to do this. I don't know if I could pull it off while holding the camera here and, and doing this. But these things are snapped in. Okay, this, this piece is snapped into the bumper cover here. So you put a piece of masking tape on so you really don't damage up your paint. Okay, so I'm just going to go in here and kind of see if I could. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, see, I should be holding it with my other hand. But I, don't, I have one hand holding my camera. But basically, I'm going to pop this out like I popped out this side here. Okay. Hard for me to do it with one hand. So you can see that we have the clips that go in here. What's up, Brian Ar Armstrong? All right. And we just, this whole bumper cover is going to be painted anyway. We're going to repaint the bumper cover and hood. But I want to paint these pieces gloss black. That's why I'm taking them out. Okay. So those pieces are going to be gloss black. This bottom section is going to be gloss black. I'm not sure if I want to keep this black, chrome it out, or paint it red. I don't know yet. All right. Uh, so this is what we have here is a 2014 uh, Mazda CX-5. I do have a stand, but I don't have the... The holder for my stand so it's just I'm not gonna worry about it right now you guys will be able to see this in future videos especially in VIP I, all of this will be documented step by step showing you how to do everything I'm just giving you a quick update from the shop here quickly here's our candy tractor that everybody loves um, my neighbors are like every time they drive by they're like giving me the thumbs up and like saying wow uh, gloss black, gloss black. We're going to do something crazy to the hood. This is a 2014 Mazda CX-5 2.5 engine, and we're doing a quick conversion on it, a quick little LABAP bossing out. All right. I'm surprised there's no likes here yet, guys. There's 30 people on, no likes. What am I doing talking to you guys? What am I doing? Wasting my time? Am I wasting my time here? Hit the like button, guys. Come on, man. Come on, or else I'm just going to turn the camera off and I'm just going to just get back to work. Because this is no fun. This is no fun at all, man. <laughs> uh, we got... So we, I just put the roof rails on it, okay? We got... Thank you, Mr. El Poderes Rosso. Sorry if I can't pronounce that right. I'm a little dyslexic. Dyslexic. Um... I got, where the hell are they? I got these suckers here, little running boards, cool running boards, right? I got running boards for it. We got, what's up, Ronnie? We got the roof racks that I already put on it. 
Okay, roof racks, running boards. Uh, we're going to be doing some quick little paint tricks all over this thing. All right, we're going to turn this Granny CX-5 into a Sporty CX-5. All right, I already got all the little trim pieces off. We're going to be doing some crazy stuff to it, right? And we're going to put it all back together, and it's going to look like totally so something totally different. We're even going to get the windows tinted. Right, we're gonna boss this thing out. Look how clean it is. It's a clean 2014 CX-5 that I recently scored on eBay. You're not gonna believe how much I paid for this thing. You won't believe it. And I figured, hey, let me just spruce it quick, make it look cool, do some auto body and paint hacks to it, you know, and uh, maybe I'll use it for a while and then flip it and make myself a few extra Gs. That's how we roll. Right. That's how we roll. So anyway, I'm in the process of doing this thing. I'm going to be painting the pieces tomorrow. I just want to get it done. You know, I, I can I can make it. So phase one, we got phase one, two, three. So phase one, paint some of the little pieces that we got going on that I have off there. Uh, phase two is going to be doing the bumper cover like and the hood. So that's like I'm not going to do that now because I need this thing on the road. I want to start driving it, you know, for my grocery getter thing. Uh, we're also going to be doing something crazy right here. All right. I just like repaired my son's cracked front and rear bumper. Essential looks great. Thanks to you. Awesome. 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 I'm going to be doing something to the hood. So what's being painted on the front here? Bumper cover and hood. That's pretty much it. We're not going to be painting the fender, the doors. All this is all good. All this is good. Where we will be doing a quick little pinstripe little design on it using Pro Stripe. You know me, I love Pro Stripe. I like it. You know, you can play with it. It's vinyl. You can get multiple colors. I like it. All right. If you guys don't like it, don't use it. I like it. All right. So I'll be doing some cool little graphic design with the pinstripes on the side here. Um, and then later on, we'll be doing the black gloss black on the bottom here. Gloss, gloss. All of this is, I want to do gloss. Gloss on all of the flat plastic. And I might even plasti dip the wheels. Plasti dip the wheels. Have it like a black, blacked out plasti dip wheels, right? Flat black. It'll kind of with the gloss down here. I think it'll look good. Like I said, I got these running boards. I'll show you how it looks. I still got to mount them up. But, you know, I don't know if you can imagine, but you're going to imagine these running boards. You can imagine these running boards like that. Well, some people are saying they don't have a like button. You know, I don't know. Maybe it's it's not big enough. You know, I really don't care. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Um, this thing is still sitting here. Still sitting here. Uh, I just black glossed a lot of plastic too. Tony X, Tony 21 gallon compressor. Can I paint a small hatchback base coat, clear coat? Um, it's going to be tough. You're going to have to play catch up with your compressor. You know, you could do it. It's going to be tough. I mean, I've had a hard time with a 30 gallon compressor, you know, you could do it, but you know, it's going to be, it's going to be tough. There's no like button. Somebody's saying there's no like button. Really? That's weird. You've got to X out of the live chat, then like, guys. Close the live chat, then like. Likey, likey. Me likey you. Me likey long time. <laughs> Me likey, likey long time. <laughs> anyway, mahalo from Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay. Pretty cool place. Uh, cup system update. Yep, we will. We will have an update on that. And also, Ronnie, if Ronnie's watching, I spoke to Tammy. She hooked me up here. Tammy hooked me up. We're going to be doing some reviews. Actually, going to be using Tammy's products on this project. So uh, it's going to be awesome. Here is that red. Here is that red, guys. The ca it looks so different on camera versus what I see with my eyes here. So different. So different. But, um, you know, it's video. You know, it is what it is. It is what it is. <clears throat> anyway, 
Um, I'm going to head out, guys. Is that a cup holder? Love it. Yeah, that's a cup holder. <laughs> Where you put your 40 ounce, I don't think a 40 will fit in there, but it'll it'll fit your uh, your how many millimeter 500 milliliter um, you know Asahi beer or whatever you're drinking. I like Asahi. Asahi is good. <laughs> so here's how it'll look with the with the things on it. Eh, whatever. All right, guys. So I'm I'm actually gonna start sanding now. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna start sanding. Yep. Yeah, I was thinking of plastic dip in the more wheels. <clears throat> yeah, new little project right here. New little project. It's gonna be pimped out super soon. Um, maybe plastic dip the wheels on this sucker. I don't know. We'll see. Let's get a quick vote. Vote, guys. Plasti dip the wheels on this CX5 or 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 leave them silver. I mean, they may look good silver with the uh, silver running board. I don't know. What do you guys think? Silver, paint them black. Plastic dip is a pain to paint. Nah, it's not that bad. Oh, it's a pain to clean. Yeah, well, paint, paint video. Paint the rims gloss black. Yeah, gloss black would be good. Gloss black would be good. But it's a pain in the ass to, it's just, I don't know if, plastic dip's easy. I just clean it and just, psh, done. Gloss black, I'm going to have to prep it. I'm going to have to sand it, do this, do that. It's going to take five, 10 times the amount of time to, to do them with gloss black versus plastic dip. What's up? What's up, girl? Not many black rims look really good. No, plastic looks ugly. Come on, Tony. Plasti if you don't like to... Re yeah, Plasti if you don't like to remove it. Absolutely. I don't know. Leave them silver. Yeah, well, I'll finish the project up. I'll finish it up and leave it silver. And we'll see. We'll rock it like that. You know? Later on, if I'm like, dude, let me do... Uh, let me do Plasti Dip. We could do that. Whatever. Whatever the case is. You know, whatever. But I hope everybody's doing well. A little chilly. Tomorrow's going to be 59 here, and I'm still going to paint these pieces. What's up, girl? What's up? 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 <laughs> Dude, this dog stinks, man. It's been raining. She goes out in the rain. Look at her. Look at her, Look at her jump. <laughs> She's a jumper. <laughs> she wants to... Sandy, what are you doing? Ow, my thumb. I cut my freaking thumb the other day, and it's freaking hurting me. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you liked that tractor video that I put out yesterday. If you've seen that whole 15-minute video on it, hope you liked it. No, I'm not painting the whole car. We're just going to do uh, little sections of it. I mean, the paint's great. Probably buff it out. Buff it out later. Yeah, I can smoke the taillights. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> That's how the Japanese say it. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Great series on the... Yeah, yeah. So if you guys are VIP, I put the whole... It's like almost two hours of step-by-step -step, um, on this project here. This is called the Mad Max Project, Mad Max. This is called the Mad Max, dedicated to my friend uh, Max. How many miles? This thing has 69,000 miles on it. 69,000. Um, it's freaking clean. It's clean as hell, man. Super clean. It's not the leather interior. It's the touring, but it's not the grand touring. You know? I thought I did a good job. But um, it's, it'll be a good little runner, good little grocery runner, good on gas, super clean, super clean car. Um, oh, you can see the pieces I took off here. Oh, shit. Hopefully, let me see. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. I took a... 
when does VIP get the latest videos I got of the mini truck? Well, there's new stuff in there already if you check it out. Dude, you've motivated me to paint my car. Great. Awesome. I'm happy for you. So we have to take all this this out here to take out our spoiler. All right? And I taped them shut because I had to uh, wash the outside because it was pretty filthy. So I don't get any water going in when I, when I cleaned up here. Because when I took the spoiler off, this is all like dirt and ugly looking. All dirt and ugly looking. So what I did was just hit it with some uh, simple green, wash it all down, clean it up well, you know. So anyway, guys, I'm going to head out. Um, thanks for hopping on quick. I'm going to just sand this quick. What time is it? It's like 10 o'clock right now. I'm just going to spend 20 minutes, sand these pieces down quick, take the other side off, um, and do it. Tony, I wanted to get the RPJ course. Email support. Email support. And uh, tell them I, I said you can have it for free. All right? Just say Tony said on the live stream and have it for free. And uh, we'll give you the RPJ course. All right? All right, guys. I'm heading out. Heading out to, uh, to start sanding. All right, Bradley. I'll let them know Bradley. I'll let them know Bradley Boyer is the one. After I get off, I'll just... Say what's up to my team. So uh, have a good night, guys. Have a good night. I'm going to start filming uh, the process here. And um, and uh, and that's that. Tony, will rust always come back trying to decide whether to replace the panel or fix? <clears throat> well, it depends. Hello from Greece. Love it. I love your last name. Well, my last name is Bandalos. Supposed to be Mapantalos, which is Greek. My last name, my grandfather was Greek, a Gleek. My grandfather was a Gleek Plick. <laughs> well, I never really knew him that much, and he he left my dad when he was a baby at nine months old. So I guess you can really call him a Gleek Plick, right? But they made up. They made up. <laughs> so I'll talk to you soon, guys. Uh, will Russ come back? Yes and no. Depends on how well you repair it and where you live. Because if you live, what do you do about clear coat runs? Oh, you can sand them out. You can sand them out. Agilos. That's a badass name, man. I don't know how to pronounce your name, Mr. Greek, man. I have not been to Greece yet. I'd like to go to Greece. <clears throat> see where my family history comes from but uh yeah all right people have a great night i'm out see you later peace out